Hi there, I'm Doug Wilcox, and this is my hackathon project. Uh, this is a Weasley clock. Let me demonstrate how it operates. So, if you recall, in the Harry Potter universe, the uh, Weasley family, Mrs. Weasley specifically, has a clock which has a hand on it for each of her family members, and it shows their condition or their status or their activity. Um, I realized that I could probably implement something similar using uh, phone software and an Arduino, and uh, that's exactly what I did. Let me show you how it works. So we start with a service called If This Then That. And what this allows me to do is create a recipe, and I can make that recipe respond to the location services on my phone. Uh, this. Uh, these recipes get synchronized with the phone. They can be created on the phone or on the computer. Um, and I'm going to say that I want my phone to do something when I enter an area. Let's say when I get to the office. So I'll choose that location, maybe adjust it a bit because there's a highway right near us. I will create the trigger and then I'll say, okay, when I enter that area, what should the phone do? In this case, I'm sending small bits of data to an Adafruit uh, I.O. API, and I've already set up the feed, so I select the feed name, and I'm going to save you know, something like this. And I will create the action. Um, they also offer some other things. I can add the where exactly at location, or where exactly it happened, and so forth, but I don't need to, need to bother with any of that. Then uh, Adafruit I.O., which is a free service, um, will gather the transmissions from If This Then That and store them in a feed. And the Arduino, which is here, with an Ethernet shield on it, will monitor that feed over the internet and look at the latest value and control a stepper motor through this controller and the stepper motor is mounted on the back, um, and it will move the uh, it will move the hand to whatever position was last specified in the feed. So there you have it, a Weasley clock. Thank you.